Welcome back, everybody. We are here on Silva, our starter planet, and uh, off-camera I've done a little bit of farming just to get organized. So, we have uh, full soil canisters, we have organic, laterite, sphalerite, compound, and resin. Ready to go. Uh, we need to now start working on the smelter, which is also going to require uh, some more... How do I put this? Uh, some more reliable power sources. So, I think we are going to, uh, because when the, when the wind is blowing, this turbine can provide power to the large printer, and presumably to the smelter as well, but since wind is sort of um, uh, inconstant, uh, we're going to need to build some other power sources. Now, what I was thinking is I'd build one solar panel, panel and one generator, and hooking those all up together should ensure that most things are powered almost all the time, certainly during the day. Uh, and then we have some other things to explore as well. There's this large conglomeration of something over there. Uh, down in the caves, I did find what looked like a box. I did not investigate it. And uh, we also have more kind of debris lying around. There's other things we could pick up. We could explore the forest over there or head up to the mountains over there. And uh, we're going to continue working on the missions. So our current mission, if we look at our uh, mission log is smelteringly hot. Uh, unlock and print a smelting furnace and refine aluminum from laterite. We're also going to need to refine zinc from sphalerite to do the uh, retooling mod, which is also going to re require us to create some ceramic. I don't know what that is involving uh, yet, but we'll get to that. So, uh, to start off, we're actually going to research and we are going to build uh, a solar panel, if we can, and a generator. Now, the generator we can do right now, if I switch to small generator for, it looks like, one compound, we can actually build this. Okay, so here's a small generator. Produces two units per second. Portable power source that runs on organic resources. We can turn it off or turn it on. Got it. Okay. So, let's come over here and connect this right here like this completed powerful problems okay what was that powerful problems print and connect small generator to power network okay so we get a small battery and the schematic for a small battery as a reward that is kind of cool actually we can hook the battery up to the turbine so that when the wind is on we generate extra power Okay, so uh, this is a small battery, and we got the schematic for this as well. Rechargeable power storage stores 32U of power, produces 1U per second. Okay, well, we are definitely hooking this up to the, uh, the turbine over here. Uh, let's uh, rotate this a little bit. Nope. Oh, it can actually go... That's interesting. It can actually go on to my backpack and I guess it steals energy from the main or it maybe it's recharging from the small wind turbine I'm not sure or no I'm connected to the I'm connected to the main uh, the main hub here so the shelter produces one U per second nothing else is using it right now and as a result it's charging the battery for me that's really interesting okay uh, let's go ahead and put this down here completed battery backup so how many, how many mu is this? That looks like it's got eight things on it, and we have 10. So maybe we hold 40 U units of power, and then each one of these is worth perhaps four? Not quite sure. But uh, I didn't actually want to put that on my backpack. I wanted to put it uh, right here where we could connect it to the turbine and ensure that we have some power running uh, through here. All right, that's really, that's really good. That gives us some uh, renewable power, or some uh, storable power, rather. Uh, now let's take a look at building a, uh, building a solar panel. Now, can the small printer maybe already do that? Uh, storage, rover seat, canister, work light, medium printer, oxygenator. No, the printer doesn't do that. So it's like a small solar panel is probably something we have to unlock. Uh, so let's take a look at our catalog here, and we can go down to power, 
power cells. Small solar. Okay. Um, so we have 500 bytes, and the cost here is going to be 300. We are going to need copper to build it, however. Hmm. Convert sunlight into power. Produces one unit per second. So there's really no point in unlocking this and spending the bytes until we find some copper, I suppose. Um... What other options do we have? The small wind turbine, that requires ceramic. The small battery requires zinc. Graphite. And compound. Okay. Power cells. Consumable item that increases your power capacity. Hmm. 800 bytes. So, we need to go find some copper. Uh, let's take a look in the, uh, the Astropedia here at resources. Let's see if we can find copper. Copper is refined from malachite, and malachite is found on Silva in the mountains. Okay, so if we head up to the mountains, we should be able maybe to find some, uh, some malachite. And then we would smelt that down to copper, and then we could build a, uh, we could build a, um, whatchamacallit. Good God, Jordan. What is the, what is the name? Solar panel. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, so then we could build a, a solar panel, but it looks like we're going to have to kind of like bootstrap ourselves with wind, this battery, and if we need it, we can put a piece of organic there uh, to power this up at one mu per second. Now, I don't know how fast it burns through that. Uh, let's take a look at our backpack right now. So we've run out of resources at this point. Uh, we could take this, stick that there in case we need to build something. And we can't take that out because it's not complete. Um, so let's grab two compounds. And let's just slot one in here. Uh, in, the, in the power source. Hmm. It seems like it doesn't quite work that way. Okay. So I suppose if we put it here and then turn it on, if we connect that, right? Is that connected? So now if we turn this on... Hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure I understand. Maybe this is a storage table. Maybe it doesn't quite work if it's on there. What is it saying? Oh, it runs on organic. It doesn't run on compound. That's why. <laughs> okay. So we'll grab an organic. That we can slot in. Okay. And we can see it slowly producing power and consuming little bits off the top there. And now we can put this whole thing there. Okay. So if we need it, we can power the large printer or really the whole network uh, off of this. But we've got a full battery and uh, our turbine is running. So let's see what's required to produce the smelter. Well, it, it says shelter. I guess that's the only recipe we have, so do we need to unlock the smelter recipe? Shelter... Sensors... Platforms... Storage... Rover... Shuttles... Rail station... Okay, wh where's the smelter? There's shredder. Auto extract. Wait a minute. That's large printer. What is this? The shelter. Oh, the shelter can build things. Ah, okay. I did not know that. Uh, where is smelter? Research chamber. Wait a minute. What's going on? Isn't this a large printer? Okay, large smelting furnace. Okay. Oh, this is locked. We have not actually purchased this. But we have the bytes. Okay. Required is compound and resin, cost 250 bytes. Used to convert natural resources into refined resources. Draws five units of power per second while active. Okay. 
Small generator output. Uh, I am not quite sure. Oh, we're connected to... Oh, that's that's what we're building if we build something. Okay. Uh, one thing I do want to look at at some point today is this oxygen filters. I don't know what this is or how it works, so we'll look at that in a moment. Uh, but first, we do need to unlock large uh, large smelter. Smelting furnace. Here we go. Okay, so now, if we come over here... Hmm. All right, I will admit I am confused. So this is the large printer. And if we go over here, smelting furnace is unlocked for the large printer, right? Or is that medium? Hmm. I suppose we can look at this one. Can you, you can build a large printer. Oh, you can also build a smelting furnace. So, wait a minute. So what does the large, large thing build? So this is things that, maybe this is, this can be built by our backpack. Ah, I see. This can be built by our backpack. Anything in here can be built by a small printer. And then anything in here can be built by a medium printer. So we can, yeah, we can build the large printer and the smelting furnace from the medium printer. Got it. Okay. So we didn't actually need this just yet. We probably don't need the large uh, large printer just yet. Uh, what we probably do need to do is move it uh, so that this guy can... Oh, well, actually, maybe. Yeah, he pops out over here. Okay, so he's already kind of situated the right way. Uh, we are going to need one more resin here. And with that, we should be able to... Actually, let's grab two. And I believe an extra compound was the other requirement. Oops. Okay. So now we come over to the medium printer. And we will print a smelting furnace. Two resin and one compound. Very good. Making a smelter. It's kind of on a weird angle there. Uh... We could fix that for it. Nice flat surface everywhere. There we go. Okay, so this is a big boy. It takes a while to print, and it does need the power. Okay, so the good news is... The wind is currently blowing. The turbine is active, so we're generating five there. This only takes two, and we do have a battery. So we can see it's being pulled from the battery, but then it's also uh, going to regenerate, I think. Yeah, I think so. So it pulled a little bit of power from in there when the, when the turbine shut down, but it's slowly coming back. Is this... This is up, this is on, this fell on its side, it looks like. There we go. Hold on. I think it fell on its side when I was rebuilding the ground underneath it. So a nice flat space for all of our working surfaces. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happened to it. For sure. Not sure how I feel about this, like, white pattern where the, uh, the stone is coming up out of the ground to, like, fill it. Kind of wish it would just adopt whatever the nearest color is, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so. We have our smelting furnace. Where do we want to pop this? Um, I guess over here is going to be fine. Uh, let's get some more ground going. Nice and flat, right? Nice flat area we can put the smelting furnace on. I wonder if later on it becomes possible to build like uh, foundations or some other kind of like platform instead of doing it this way. All right, let's bring you over here and let's unpack you. Let's see what you look like. Okay, kind of cute, little toilet type deal. 
Okay. Let's slam you down right there. Now, you are going to need power. So, where do you connect? Where's your connector? Do you have to be seated on a platform? Probably, right? Okay. So, the platforms can be connected. Um, can we drop you on this the side of this? No, you're too big. Okay. So we probably need another large platform. I think we have one lying around somewhere over here. It is a medium platform A. Maybe this does the trick? I don't think so. No, that's not going to do it. Uh, how do I repack you? Can I? New platform A. Seems like I cannot repack this once it's been unpacked. So, oh, how did you get moved? You belong over there. Okay, uh, let's store this over by our kind of uh, extras area over here. And I think we're going to need to print a. Uh, we're going to need to print a large platform. Let's take a look at that. If we go to the small printer, we can build medium platform. So that's not going to do it. Let's come over here to the medium printer. And we want large platform A or B. What is the difference? They cost... One costs more and has, it looks like, some sort of side tables. So for the smelter, I don't think we need the side tables. Uh, but we do need more resin. So the, these little side tables, I don't know that they're all that valuable to me at the moment. I'm not sure exactly what they're for. Um, let's grab some resin. We're already running out. And uh, we can build large platform A, sure. And then we can situate or seat the smelter on top of it. Draws five power while active, okay. Like, we can't just... Yeah, there's no there's no plug here. It has to be seated on a platform. Fair enough. And luckily, as we're building, the wind kicks in. So we shouldn't drain our battery too much. Is that over there? It's the shelter, yeah. Okay. So we have, what, four resin left? We've got our one... We've got tethers, soil canister... A little uh, power generation for us, and one each of resin and compound to build things in the field, should we need to. Alright, so. Let's unpack you. Somewhere over there. And then if we pop you on top. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we have our smelter all set up and good to go. Let's grab a power line. I guess this one will do the trick. And now we can get smelting. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the recipes here. Oh, turn on or turn off. So I guess we just throw things in here, probably on these, and then it produces something. Uh, let's start with the sphalerite. We wanted zinc. Let's just do one and see what it see what it does. So if I turn you on, slowly consume the sphalerite, and it looks like he's producing zinc right here. So is it one for one? It looks like it does take a while here. I wonder if there's a way to automate this so that it you know pops it off. Uh, and moves on to the next sphalerite right, once one is completed. All right, we've got a we've got a zinc. Okay. Uh, with that, actually, we can now build. I believe, if we come down here, uh, we can build. The boost mod. There's our zinc. Let's build it.
Okay, we have a boost mod. Terrain tool augment increases deformation speed. Attached to the terrain tool to activate. Draws 0.75 units per second of power while active. Okay, so let's give that a test. Uh, let's see what that looks like. So to do that, we will head down, because we're going to need more resin anyway. So we're going to head down uh, underneath the ground to where I found some resin. And we may make a small side trip to investigate something along the way. Now, on the way down here, I found somewhere off to the left, there is a, what looks like a, uh, a chest. Yeah, right over there. See that? Right over there. So, we are going to build ourselves a little, some sort of way down here. Let's get a, let's get an angle if we can. It's a little bit much. There we go, that looks good. Okay, so we've got a little switch back here. Kind of over here. Down. Okay. Now we are going to... What is that over there? There's something else over there, too. So these don't seem to be too hazardous in terms of getting close to them. They don't seem to explode unless I damage them. Uh, so I think we won't necessarily need to uproot these. We are going to need to put down some tethers here. But so far, the ground seems pretty traversable. We can do something like get rid of these if we want. But again, we don't really need to. Oh, there's a little research guy here. Scan him. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff over there. There's debris. Okay. Oh, and there's a lower level cave down there as well. All right, that's a little intimidating to be honest. Let's go check out the debris first. See if we can get anything good here. Um, we've got a packager. We'll take that. That's debris. Uh, that's debris that's kind of stuck in the ground there. Okay, so it looks like the packager is the prize. Uh, we'll stick that on our backpack, I guess. Take that home and find out what that is. What else is in here? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot down here. Okay, let's head back for now. Uh, how many tethers do I have at the moment? Four? I don't know if I want to leave this and come back later. You know what? It does lead to that other kind of hole leading down. Maybe I'll leave that for a bit. So let's head over here. And then off to the left here, there was something else. Something winking in the distance. Ah, but we have a problem. It's over there. So we can just dig through the wall, I suppose. Give ourselves a little walkway over there. Make sure we're not... Uh interesting that these things just kind of fall out. Okay. Let's come over here. And I want to see what that glowing rock thing is. Uh, let's get a little bit down now. There we go. be a little bit gentle when you use this tool. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. Yeah, there's some stuff. Uh, I am out of tethers. So what I can do is build some more. That's why I brought the extra compound. Uh, let's build another set of tethers. 
Okay, now we're out of compound. But we can go a little bit further now. And there's compound right there, actually. So we're fine. What is this? Exodynamics Research Aid. Field Research Unit. In insert appropriate resource to unlock. Wow, okay. Well, let's dig this out. Wow, this is a, this is a big one. Okay, it's free. Oh, oh, don't don't fall down a hole, please. It's not letting me uh it's not letting me pick it up. Huh. Is it is it still trapped kind of maybe? I don't think I can get to that. Yeah, that's... I don't know why. It's... Uh, I, I can't pick it up. And I don't know what the appropriate resource is. So I think I've kind of... I think I'm kind of stuck here. Can I... Build underneath it? Oh, there it goes. Oh, darn. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Maybe we can get down to where it is and take another closer look at it. If I build... There we go. That's that's kind of what I want. Let's build like that. Okay, let's go down there. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, 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 wow. That's too steep. That's too steep. Almost fell. That looks more reasonable to get down wherever it's down there. Without falling to my doom. Okay. Still pretty steep, but controllable. Let's keep going. And then when we get to that far side, we'll do some sort of a switchback. How deep is it here? Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Uh, so down here now, we'll dig this out. And then kind of keep going down until we reach the ground. And then we can make sure there's a side tunnel to come back around the uh, behind here. Because the thing that we were looking at, the research unit, fell underneath this slope that I'm building. So as long as we get down to the ground, uh, we should be fine. There's a little research guy down there. Uh, let's curve around him. Ah, nuts. Uh, I need a tether somewhere. Okay. Keep building this little highway down to the ground level. And I think we're good now. Basically there. Uh, let's scan you. Okay, yes, we've made it down. Let's go take... I want to go see what that thing was, if I can. Uh, we may need to throw down another... Uh, tether here. Let's just do it here where we know there's a connection. Okay. And now can we can we pick this up or move it? No, we can't. It's like too heavy or something. Um, it looks like we need to put power into it. Insert appropriate resource to unlock. Yeah, there's like a... Is that a power plug or is that a... Is 
that a power slot or is that like just part of the insert appropriate resource oh I can kind of move it a little bit and kind of shove it with my body I guess well I guess this is a mystery I'm gonna to have to solve another day um, if I were to I don't think that's a power slot I think that's just a I think that's just a buckle hmm all right well whatever this is I can't I can't do anything with it so we're going to uh, back off now I suppose we can take a quick look around down here see if there's anything else interesting we're pretty far down I'm glad we have the tethers to follow back because otherwise I'd be lost and probably very quickly dead the cave systems here are really really big and uh, I did want to check that out but the main reason I came down here was to get resin so we got to head back up and do that uh, and it looks like there's some resin over there. Yeah, there's definitely resin over there. How do I get back up on the, uh, the highway here? How did I, how did I get over here? Hmm. Oh, I did, did I come around here? I guess I must have. Oh, that's, that's rough. That's rough. Uh, okay, hold up, hold up. I need to get back to the oxygen. How did I get how did I get this turned around? There was like one direction to go. So I must have dropped down from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's how I that's how I lost my my place there. Uh, so there is there is resin over there, I think, but I know where it is up here, and there's uh we need to head back to the surface anyway, so. Let's do that. And then if we come around, let's see, I'm trying to remember which way is which now. So this was the offshoot to come investigate this stuff. So I now want to go back down this path. And we follow the chain down and all the way to the end. Oh, there's more research bites. You know, if I just, like, found, like, a bunch of these and, and scan them every day, it's like, 50 a piece on average, so you get 500 bites in, like, two days or something. All right, we come down here. And we keep going clockwise. No. This was the sphalerite, the zinc. Over here was where the uh, the resin was. Okay. All right. There it is. There's my beautiful resin. All right. So let's just mine some of this. Sort of until we're full of resin. We can head back up to the surface. There's like a big, big old, big, uh, big chunk here that I can't seem to actually uh, eat or mine. I'm not quite sure why. It's it uh, it's like hanging in midair. See? I guess it's a bug. Okay, we're almost... I think we're full now. Yeah. So we are full and cannot carry any more. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? Uh, let me drop this off, I guess, for, like, for next time. Uh, let me drop these, these off for a second. Because I want to... I want to try this this drill mod. All right, so the boost mod increases deformation speed. So if we attach this, that's now powered on. We're drawing power from our battery, and now is that noticeably faster? Yeah. Wow, that is noticeably faster. Interesting. Okay. So I don't think we necessarily need that right now, um, but when we're mining, it should probably be pretty good. Uh, Let's take that 
back off, or I guess we just leave it there for now. No, I don't want the power draw, so I want to take it off for the moment. Stick that there, put this on the backpack. And I'm not sure whether I would use that or not. I mean, I uh, I guess the power draw is fine. Like, it seems like the turbine runs even under, under the cave, uh, down here in the cave systems underground, so maybe it would be fine to just use it and really speed through mining. Uh, but I suppose I can carry it with me for a while, and if I don't end up using it, I can always just leave it back at the base. I think I think I will use it. I'll stick it on the on the gun wand, and use it for a while. And if I run into battery problems, then I'll take it off. If I don't, I'll keep it. Okay. But now we've got zinc. We did some exploration. Uh, we need to get back to base and figure out what else we're gonna do with our smelter. So we made one zinc and built the upgrade. Uh, I think I think we need to go up into the mountains next and look for the malachite to make copper. So we'll go back and drop some stuff off at storage. And then I just I guess we're gonna experiment with the oxygen canisters and see how much they give us because I cannot imagine building tethers all the way over there. It seems like a really long, long way to build a tether chain. Uh, okay, let's drop this stuff off. So we have extra resin. And then over here, uh, we have more resin. We can stick on this on this storage unit. I think I'm gonna equip the boost mod. And we do need to find out what the packager is. Packages up items for easier carrying and transfer. Oh, so I can repackage something like this into a box and then carry it around. Got it. That actually makes quite a bit of sense. I was wondering if there was a way to do that. Uh, so for right now... Hmm. I think it makes sense to actually have this right here. Base building item. How do I use it? Like that. Base building item. Do I drop something on it? Like, if I drop this on that, it doesn't package it up. Uh, let's check the thingamajig. Uh, crafting, smelting, condenser, chemistry lab, soil centrifuge, shredders, trade platform. Nope, not here. Uh, let's see. Automation, auto arm, extractor, canisters. No. Base building. Use printers to create platforms and modules. Objects are stored in the form of packages once complete. Place and rotate packages desired before unpacking. Modules must be deployed on top of platforms in order to be used. Hmm. Platforms can be anchored to the ground. To prevent accidental movement, the anchor can be manually released at any time. Okay, well that doesn't really explain how to use the packager. Uh, but that's fine. Platforms can be anchored. Now, storage is not a platform, but we could put the storage on the platform. But this guy, if we lock him, yeah. Now we can't, now we can't move him. Okay, so it is, it is possible to lock these things. And then like if I stuck this on here, yeah, there we go. Then we have like a little a little platform for it to be, be raised up on. I don't know how to use this, so we'll just stick it there for now. And then we need a spare compound in case we need to build something. And then we also want to build some of those oxygen canisters and see how they work. So let's grab one of these. And then oxygen filters built with resin. Let's see what this is. Uh, provides a temporary increase to your oxygen capacity. Okay, so if I like had, I don't know, I don't know how much that is worth. Is the problem? Uh, let's fill it up, I guess. Is it is it full? How do you know? I 
I suppose when the light is blue, that means it's in use. All right, well, let's let's take a ride. Let's head for the mountain. And let's see, actually, speaking of taking a ride. Uh, let's see, small printer. Jetpacks and hoverboards, that's not it. Rover seat. A portable seat for connecting to rovers and shuttles. Tractor. Not enough bytes. I need a thousand bytes. And I would need aluminum. Which we can make. Work vehicle with a built-in seat and rechargeable battery. Can tow a limited number of trailers. Low power draw while active. So if we charge up the battery, and maybe we can build another oxygen generator and attach that to the tractor. A portable seat for connecting to rovers and shuttles. Trailer. This is 1500. For use with tractors and rovers can be combined with storage modules to increase hauling capacity. Okay. Buggy horn and winch. So I think I want to build a tractor here. If I could get enough bites. What are the... There's a buggy as well. That's 1500. Large rover. Medium rover. This, this requires plastic, rubber, and a, a lot of bites. Okay. So we're not getting the medium buggy. But we might be able to get the trailer here, or the tractor. Okay, let's go check the mission log, because I think we might have some rewards in place. Uh, let's see. Rewards, battery backup. Okay, fully charged battery. Battery store power and can help keep production going. We get a schematic for a splitter and a schematic for power extenders. That's not helpful, but we'll take it. Uh, we completed... Oh, we didn't do this. We have to refine aluminum from Lauderite, and then we get one medium storage. Is there anything that gives us bites? The lights in the distance. Uh, for science, print and use research chamber. That's 250. Lithium is 1,000. Lithium from Vesania or Novus. Okay, that requires planet travel. Okay, so we're out of the, like, easy... Easy bite stuff. Um... All right, so it seems like next episode, I'm going to need to uh, build a research chamber and work towards being able to build the buggy. But I do want to I do want to head towards the mountains here and see, can we get uh, can can we get some malachite? So I also want to test out the uh, I also want to test out the uh, the extra oxygen here. So our oxygen bar is not dropping. I can't quite tell how much of this is being used. So there's two here. It's on. Let's see how far we can go. Actually, this is not as far as I thought. Oh, and there's more resin right here. That's really good to know. I don't have to go all the way down. Um, what is that? What is that over there? How are we doing on oxygen? It seems like we're fine for a while. Maybe this. Maybe these canisters give us something. Uh, what is this? Graphite? Okay, haven't seen that before. That's new. There we go. No, that's an organic. I want to... I want a graphite. Do I have a graphite? Alright, we have a graphite. Good. Okay. Uh, what is that over there? Research item. Mineral. I would have to carry that. Which I guess I could, technically. You know what? I might need to do some more just general exploring the local area now that I have this uh, oxygen canister working. Because look, there's stuff. There's a there's a solar panel. There's a solar panel right there. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm running out of oxygen. Okay. Well, let's get you back. Okay, that's not anywhere near as far as I thought it was, so we can definitely tether that up. Uh, and there was a solar panel there. How about that? I gotta go check that out, too. Okay, there's a lot of cool stuff in this game. Sorry, guys. I'm getting really excited. Uh, can you tell? So we used up, it looks like. Yeah, the, the oxygen canister's gone now. Okay. Uh, well, in the meantime, we can drop off this organic... And we don't have a uh, we don't have a storage module for graphite yet, but we can drop it on the temporary thing here. 
And if we find any malachite, we can do that as well. We would need, we're probably going to need to build more storage very shortly. But I'm definitely going to go get that. Uh, I'm definitely going to go get that solar panel because that is huge, huge. Little, there we go. And now I'm out of solar panels, or now I'm out of tethers. Okay, well, let's get this thing. Medium solar panel, wow, for free. Just lying around on the surface of the planet. Now that also implies... Oh, there's a research sample there. Okay, so there's some on the surface as well, I guess? Maybe we want to find those. Um, the fact that there's all these resources on the planet um, scattered amidst debris sort of suggests to me that there's... Uh, that there were other members of our... I don't know, race or species or organization here pr previously? Because it's our it's our tech. I mean, it integrates with our stuff. It's, it is our tech. So I'm wondering uh, if there's any kind of story content that kind of sheds any light on any of that. Um, let's throw you over here next to the battery, I guess. Or do we want to put you on top of something? Can you go on, on something? I wonder if he can just deploy or... No, he needs to go on... Oh, here's, here's where we use this thing. He needs to go on there. And I guess he automatically... I guess if the sun is out, he would, he would unfold, hopefully, and provide power to the network. I suppose we can see the next time the sun is out. All right, last thing we're going to do. Uh, let's grab a couple of compounds, because we're shy, we're shy now. Uh, and we're gonna... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. So, I've got my soil, my power. I've got this thing on the gun. I've got this carbon, this organic that I don't need. And we're gonna make tethers. Burn through a lot of tethers in this game. I'm learning that very quickly. Okay. Let's head back mountainside. There was graphite over here, too. I don't know what that's used for exactly. Uh, we're running a little low on uh, compound, so let's grab some. Okay, that's probably enough. There we go, okay. So we've got four compound, five compound, we're probably fine probably one more than we actually needed. Uh, and let's keep building this tether chain. And let's get up into the mountains and see if we can find some malachite to make copper, baby. And we have the stuff for aluminum, the, la the lat latrium, lat latinite. I forget what it's called, but it's something with an L. Okay, so we get to here. There's some more graphite there. Now, is there more of those research thingies? They were on one of these little, like, orange ball plants. They look like, uh... Rhododendrons or hydrangeas or something. I do not see any. Okay. Uh, let's get up into the mountain. I had seen something that looked like... Yeah, that. I want to know what that is. But there's supposed to be malachite here on Silva in the mountains. That's what the, that's what the thing said. So is that, that's another mineral, I think. That's another research mineral that we can't research because we don't have the chamber yet. Let's see how high we can get on this mountain. Okay, there's some resin. Oh, there's something over there. And there's something red over here? What is that? Oh, you're not close enough. There we go. I think I'll put one more here uh, where I can see it. Uh, those are some sort of plant, I think. Uh, what is this? 
resin. That's a different kind of resin. Bounce vine, hazard, uproot to harvest the seeds. And a G Silva shell. All right, let's scan that. Organic. Okay. We do have another research item here, but I don't think I want to carry that all the way home. Uh, I want to go check out whatever that is for sure. And I don't see any malachite yet. We'll get there. Now, let's see what we have here. That's debris. Medium platform B. So we could dig out the platform, but that's not really that great, right? That's not super. What is that up there? Research sample. Okay. I'm running out of oxygen. Here's another research sample. Okay. All right, so there's plenty of it. And then is that... That's carbon material. There's lots of research stuff up in the uh, mountains here. That's good. All right, let's get back to the oxygen. Place that there. So where is all of the malachite? Hmm... Getting plenty of bites out here. That's something. Uh, what are you? You're another... Let's see. Organic. Hmm. I guess we keep going up. And I need more tethers. Compound. Oh, we've already seen compound. Organic. Okay. So we got to go higher, probably. What is that? A research item. Okay. Let's go this way. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, scannables up here in the mountains, and those restock, like, every day. So I could just follow this tether chain and, like, collect a bunch of bites that way, I think. Yeah, here's more. Oops, I picked it up by accident. I don't think I was meant to do that. Oh, well. Can I just scan you wherever you fell? Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Let's get you actually placed. There we go. So I've made it sort of the top of the mountains, and I haven't found any malachite yet. Bounce vine, there's resin. Hmm. Do I need to dig? That's compound. It said it's found in the mountains. On Silva, which is our current planet. Hmm. Wait a minute. Organic. You look kind of interesting. No, that's just grass. All right. Well, guys, I am not certain where this malachite is. But, uh, <clears throat> but I am certain that we need to uh, take a break here. There's graphite. Oh, okay. So when we come back next episode, we're, we'll, we will continue scanning this, uh, exploring this mountain, trying to find the elusive Malachite. And uh, then we will start working our way towards a rover uh, to explore further out, maybe, uh, with uh, portable oxygen. That's kind of the goal. And that will maybe let us look for this light in the sky. Anyway, uh, that's all going to have to wait till next time because that's it for this time. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about the series. Uh, I am curious. I'm recording these kind of early, and I'll be distributing them, spacing them out. So you may have already uh, given me some feedback, but let me know what you think. Uh, as you guys know, I try to respond to all my comments and uh, monitor them. So if you have a question or a suggestion, let me know. I'll get back to you. 
in any case, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate that, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.